What's going on, YouTubers? It's your boy, RKO2582, a.k.a. the AJ Lee Fanboy, a.k.a. your wrestling otaku. Here to do my WWE Hell in a Cell pay-per-view review. Alright, let's not waste any time and get this review underway. Alright, we kick off Hell in a Cell 2012 with Randy Orton against Alberto Del Rio. <sighs> yeah, I'm surprised this kicked off the show. And uh, for what it was, like I said in my prediction, this was a pretty good match and it got the crowd hyped up. And uh, yeah, of course, you know, Del Rio was doing his usual stuff, attacking the arm like the Ordon. And then, I mean, it was good back and forth action between both guys. And then, uh, and of course, yeah. Del Rio was mocking Randy Orton then. I mean for moments I thought Del Rio might pull this off and then he was going. Um but in the end Randy Orton um did like a like a out of nowhere once again. Boom RKO. I think he I think Del Rio slipped on the rope, but I might have to watch again to make sure. But anyways, like I predicted, your winner, Randy Orton. And the second match of the night was my team, Team Hell No, Kane and my Daniel Bryan going up against Team Road Scholars, Damian Sandow and Cody Rhodes. Um, I was looking forward to this match, and uh, yeah, this wasn't a, a too bad tag match. I mean, um, you had Daniel Bryan, Kane were doing good in the beginning, of, but of course, Road Scholars was looking good as well. They were dominating, and then. Uh, yeah, Kane and Daniel Bryan were already me for a moment. I'm like, oh god, oh god, I was worried they were gonna really tag the top. But then, of course, Kane went crazy on both um, roads and sand, sand down, and it got um, Team Hell No disqualified. And Rose Scott was won the match, but they didn't win the tag team title. So um, I wouldn't be surprised if they had a rematch down the road. So once again, Team Hell No wins by DQ. All right, next you had. Kofi Kingston, my boy. Boom, boom, boom. Your new Intercontinental Champion. Going against the former champion, The Miz. And, um, I was sad that the crowd was dead for this. And, um, where I was watching. Ugh, I hate that. But I, I, I was, another match I was looking forward to tonight. I thought this match was pretty, um, good. I mean, yeah, um, but, it could have been better though. I mean, it was still it was still a good match. He had Miz do his stuff, and he was attacking Kofi's leg. And he had took his boot off and everything. But in the end, um, after the epic trade finisher, Kofi hit the boom, 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 trouble in paradise. One, two, three. Your winner and still Intercontinental Champion Kofi Kingston. And I gotta get that new shirt of Kofi soon. Alright, next was a filler match. Um, you had Antonio Cesaro, your nice, nice champion, Sagat Cesaro, going up against Justin Gabriel. And, man, I really hate that my ATL crowd was pretty much dead for the most of the evening, which I'll get to the matches that they were cared for. But, alright, this match here. Um, yeah, Antonio Zara, pretty much, you know, he beats Justin Gabriel. I thought Gabriel had a good charm, but in the end, Antonio Zara hits the high guy uppercut, and then, of course, he, he hits the neutralizer. One, two, three, your winner, still U.S. champion. Antonio Zara hopes. I really want Justin Gabriel to win, but not tonight. It wasn't his night. Next was, um, I was hearing rumors about this filler match, and it came true. Yeah, Rey Mysterio and St. Carl going up against the prime time place. Millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. Millions of dollars. And um, this taxi match um, was good, but it went on a little too long. So, um, yeah, the prime top is looking good, of course. But, they, of course, once Ray Mysterio finally got the tag in, yeah, he was on fire. And then, of course, Ray Mysterio hits the 619 and then, I guess, dropped the dime on um, Darren Young. One, two, three, your winners, Ray Mysterio and St. Carl. Alright, next was um, the World Heavyweight Championship match between the Calderon and Sheamus, the World Heavyweight Champion, going against the Big Snow. 
And going into this, I was like the majority. I was like, I could give a rat's ass about this match. But as the match surprisingly went off, I actually got someone in best. I was getting, yeah, especially when they did the near falls, kicking out of their finishers and stuff. And, um, I mean, Sheamus did good too, especially him facing the big show for the first time. I mean, um, I mean, I like that white noise he had. I was like, damn. And then I thought that was then, and then WD, I was, I was like, oh god, and then, yep, show block the bro kick once again, and I thought when he was gonna hit the bro kick number two, I thought him and show were gonna knock each other the hell out, but, but show gets over that bro kick, knocks Seamus out with WD for the second time, and one, two, three, champion, the big slow. I was thinking in my mind, they can't have show win this. I was thinking Dolph Ziggler, here to show the world I'm gonna cash in his money bag, but he didn't cash in. We only saw him watching from the locker room during this match, but I guess he was trying to be smart because he knew if he tried to cash in he was probably knocked out. So maybe Survivor Series that might happen, I don't know, or earlier than that. To, or they could have like a three way feud, maybe, but still you're New World Heavyweight Champion, I can't believe it. Big Slow. God help us. Our right, next was the Divas uh, Triple Threat match for the Divas title. Yeah, Eve, Layla, and Caitlyn. Um, this wasn't a bad Divas Triple Threat match. Um, yeah, of course, Caitlyn and Layla were attacking Eve like they should. And then, of course, Caitlyn and Layla started training pins and started fighting each other. And then, of course, um, yeah, E was attacking Kat Caitlyn's ankle and stuff, and then E did, um, I'll admit, she did like a modified figure for Kobe for Caitlyn, but in the, I like Caitlyn, so Caitlyn, see, this proves Caitlyn has gotten better, and I like that arm bar and gut bust she did on Layla, but in the end, E, um, gets the victory, yeah, and E is still, once again, your Divas Champion, and now, on to the main event. Alright, um, the main event for the evening was the Hell in a Cell match for the WWE Championship. You had the challenger right back. Feed me more. Going up against my boy, the WWE Champion, CM the best in the world. And respect. And, um... Uh, for what it was, I mean, Ryback looked strong throughout this match. I mean, Punk was being like, you know, typical heel trying to sneak his way and stuff. I like the spot where Punk did a fire scene with shirt on. But Ryback was just, oh my god. And I was nervous <laughs> a little. And then, um, once, yeah, Punk was getting, I mean, yeah, once Ryback had, um, hit the meat hook and then he was about to say, finish it. And then once, the shell shot got hit. Brad, Brad, Brad Mads was like, no, 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 no. Like, and then, oh, low blow. All I have to say is, wow. Wow. I did not see that coming. Brad Mads, the man who screwed CM Punk in his match, I know, helped Punk out in his match. And then, one, two, three, a fast count. Your winner is still WWE Champion CM Punk. I, I, my, I was, that was a huge sigh of relief for me. But, it wasn't over yet. Ryback was going to kick some ass. He beat up Brad Math and then I marked with Punk and Ryback climb up to the cage and then Ryback kicks the shell shock on CM Punk and on the top of the cage and yeah, Ryback's still over and yeah, of course, I can't forget the Goldberg chance since we are in my boy's hometown, Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, Goldberg. Yeah, they were really loud from, from the TV where I was watching. And stuff, so that's how we end Hell in a Cell. Overall, um, this show was alright. I mean, it could have been better. I mean, yeah, uh, for a couple things, it's like, I mean, you know, and I'm hoping Survivor Series will do much better, like I said. Um, um, I'm hoping, yeah. Anyways, this is your boy RKL2582. Don't, my Hell in a Cell review, signing off. Take care.